Okay, guys, here's part three of uh, Airsoft versus Paintball. Um, now, I know if you've seen part one, if you haven't, go back and watch it. Um, I covered two of the broadest topics of this whole debate type argument thing, um, which were pain and realistic looks. First one I'm going to cover since I'm taking these videos and going into more detail, I'm going to cover the pain issue. And sort of, sort of, kind of a skill issue at the same time. Okay. Now, yes, as you've heard, most airsoft guns are going to be shooting faster than most paintball guns. Um, regulation paintball guns, because you should only shoot at at tops. You should only shoot 300 feet per second out of your paintball gun marker. Sorry. Um, now, out of an airsoft gun, you're shooting a six millimeter BB like I showed you in the first video and uh, the reason this will break skin on bare skin in a coat like this will not break skin on bare skin is because this is a solid plastic BB now I will show you a 68 caliber paintball okay, versus the uh, six millimeter BB those are held at the same distance from the camera Okay. Hopefully you can see this. A paintball is seamed. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so this is designed to break. Now, naturally, if you go look at paintball wounds and airsoft wounds, the airsoft wounds on the outside will occasionally look worse. If they have broken the skin and went in, they will look worse. Okay. Most of the time they won't do that especially even if you're wearing a like a real tree hunting uh, just a shirt a long sleeve shirt it's not gonna break the skin um, even even just mesh um, it's not gonna break the skin most of the time okay so the reason for the paintball wounds looking not nearly as bad if the paintball BB breaks because this is designed to break and when you look at those uh, wounds, we'll call them wounds I guess um, better known as welts you are looking at a bleeding contusion under the skin okay meaning that there you are internally bleeding okay so you have internal damage this means that on the outside an airsoft BB wound will possibly look worse but if you take it down a scale onto looking at the muscular damage, the tissue damage, a paintball, that is why a paintball does much more damage, okay? Because a paintball is designed to break. However, through this coat, even at 20 some yards, it'll still leave an imprint of the paintball. Okay? You'll still see a circle, even at 25 yards, even shooting like 270, okay? So. You're looking at you're looking at a nanoscopic scale. You have to take like if you took out a thermal camera and looked at an airsoft BB wound compared to a paintball wound, you would see with the airsoft BB roughly the same size as an airsoft BB because most of the time all you see with an airsoft BB if it has not broken the skin is maybe a little red print and maybe a little red bump, kind of like a mosquito bite. You might see that, okay? With a paintball most of the time, because most firefights take place within about 40 yards, most of the time a paintball will leave some sort of circle. You will see the imprint of the paintball uh, even at 40 yards, because most paintball firefights take place from about 40 yards in. And most of those that are inside that range are taking place 30, 25, 30 yards in. Okay? So. You have to take this, if you took out a thermal camera like I said and looked at an airsoft BB wound compared to a paintball wound, you would see probably at least damage three times the size of a paintball underneath your skin. If you pulled out a thermal camera, you would see the inflamed area of the muscle and tissue damage. You would see probably the size of at least three paintballs. Now. The whole reason for this being, like I said, is because a paintball is designed to break. It is seamed, it is designed to break and explode. Okay. So, 
if you take it down to the thermal, you take a thermal scan of the wounds, anything like that, if you look into the actual damage that's done to your muscles and tissue underneath, it is much greater with the paintball. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have a 100 round paintball pod. For those of you that have not seen this, this is a 100 round PMI. Okay. Now, I usually just pick up random pods and, you know, whatever I can find for cheap. Um, so I, I have like 14 different brands of pods, you know, it's a pod, it's, it's designed to just carry your paint, okay? Here I have what usually if you buy 2,000 airsoft BBs comes in, okay? So, that 2,000 rounds right there is rough, is roughly about two-thirds of the size of this paintball pod. Okay, now most people are going to run 140 paintball pots. So this is about half the size of a 140 paintball pot. In here, if you pack this thing full, you can fit roughly probably 2,500 to 2,800 rounds. Okay, I've never counted them out that much, but you could probably fit at least 2,500 in here. Okay, most people I know are running like a four pod vest. Even tournament players are usually... Um, running maybe nine round maybe a nine round pack like a five plus four um scenario players will you know occasionally get those eight eight pod ten pod vests and twelve pods sometimes so that you're looking at roughly half the rounds that an airsoft pa player carries okay now paintball yes we have a 200 round hopper now Airsoft, some AEGs have, you know, you have your high cap mags, your low cap, your mid cap. Um, a cheap AEG that you can go buy at Walmart, like a Crossman M16, has a 600 round hopper on top. So that's three times as many paintballs that are in one of our hoppers. Reason for the realistic factor coming in on that, I will talk about that later, is because you're talking about 6mm BB, 68 caliber paintball. This is roughly 500 BBs. This is roughly 70 paintballs. If I filled this to the top, there would be about 100. Fill this to the top, there's about 2,500. Meaning, you can have, you can put much, many more of these in a smaller area. So you can take what looks like a red dodge scope, put it on top as the hopper, and fill that with BBs, and that's where your gun will load. Now, our hoppers are just what most paintball guns are using paintball markers are using um, however if you look at rap 4 products I will talk more about this in the next vid um, they're using actual clips okay so you got the damage okay yes this will cause what looks like more damage on the outside however if you actually look into it this causes much more inner damage okay so much more damage on an actual scale outer damage actual damage okay 2500 rounds 100 rounds which means to me this takes more skill to play this does not you can take an AEG and be out there and shoot 3000 rounds in five minutes but this you might be playing a three hour scenario game and only have you know 600 rounds to work with and you have to make those last because you have to stay out there with your team so that they don't get annihilated because when it comes down to paintball the cost of one player even one player because we're all shooting semi-autos even one player can make the make the difference in a game airsoft not so much okay maybe a sniper but not so much in airsoft okay that's just part three um, I, there will be more details. Uh, just this is this is kind of the damage dealt. This causes more actual damage. This causes more scene damage. Okay, there you go.